So we were almost done north of town and uh, I had made that short clip on YouTube or whatever about uh, kind of asking the question, would you think that having a GPS unit in a, in a piece of farm machinery was a luxury or a must have? And then uh, I thought for the video today, because all I've done today was swap this quarter, I would just, uh, I guess, explain why I think it's a must have nowadays. So there are three types, maybe four types of GPS, I guess. When they first came out, the first attempt was just a light bar up here, and uh, the light would move to the left and the right, and you would steer and you'd follow it. <laughs> then they came out with uh, a terrain compensator for it, uh, so that measure, measured the pitch and the roll, uh, uh, you know, tilt and stuff in your machine, and that linked up to an external motor with a little wheel on it and a grippy thing that steered your steering wheel that way. I'm not too sure what came next, if it was this in integrated motor. So there's a motor inside this steering wheel, and the steering wheel, you can see it, it, it turns as you're going down. Uh, and lastly, there's a GPS, and we have two of those ones, one in our sprayer and one in our four-wheel drive, one of our four-wheel drive tractors, that it's actually integrated right into the hydraulic system of your tractor, or your machine, I guess. So the steering wheel doesn't move, it just steers with those valves. I'm not even really sure how that works. Um, they all have, uh, I guess they're pros and cons, if you want to call it that. We have uh, this one with the integrated steering wheel, we have two with the external motors, and we have two that are totally integrated. Uh, I like the John Deere one, I guess maybe more for ease of use, but our first two trembles were easy too, the 250 and the 500. <laughs> they put all the technology in there for custom application too, and for intense cropping. Uh, like they ask for a lot of stuff. This one even asks for an EPA number, which is, I think, probably a specific to the United States. Like I don't think Canada has that. But uh, anyway, so one thing I would like them to do is come out with a light version where they just basically give you this. You could enter your field name and then get it to drive straight because all the other stuff I think is totally unnecessary. Now you can link these up to do things like yield mapping and. Uh, variable rate so you put this one GPS in your combine and while you're combining the combine registers how much grain it's getting uh, where the crop is good where the crop is bad measures elevation and stuff like that you take that information you plug it into your tractor and when you seed the next year it knows where to put more fertilizer or less or more seed and so on and so forth we don't have any of that that requires like sectional control on your drill uh, upgraded yield mapping and yield monitoring and stuff for your combines. Uh, in fact, our one combine doesn't even have a yield monitor, so it wouldn't work for that. In those rights, I think that probably it's more of a luxury and more of a toy than it is a benefit. Where I find the benefit now is uh, basically eliminates operator fatigue. So you can watch your machine totally. You don't have to worry about steering. Uh, if you're pulling something, you can be looking back all the time. You don't have to worry about steering. Uh, eliminates operator fatigue almost a hundred percent. That's the, the first big benefit. Uh, another one is, uh, you know, if you keep the row straight, so I'm going 90 degrees, which is the way I seated the field, so it's quite a bit smoother. If you were steering all over the place, you know, with 12 inch spacing, it can get rough. So there's that benefit too. <clears throat> Efficiency, you can use the full header. So this is 35 foot header. If I was steering, you know, the worst would be to miss some, but you know, if you're going to overlap three or four feet too, so you don't miss, well then you've taken the efficiency of having a 35 foot header up. That's another one. Then there is one, and this is kind of uh, how you want to think of it on your own farm, if it saves you money or not. <laughs> so on a, our seed drill is 50 feet, and I think there's like 52 passes on a quarter section. So if you're going to assume you're going to overlap maybe a foot each time, that's 50 feet of overlap, which converts to about three acres, 3.5 acres or something. Now with the rising cost of fuel, seed, chemical, uh, all of that stuff, fertilizers, you, it's easy to say you could be around $200, $300 an acre seeding up here in the piece. 
on average. So if you just use 300 as the high, because it's not that unrealistic to think of getting there with uh, lots of fertilizer, lots of uh, chemical and stuff like that. Uh, if you're overlapping three and a half acres or, you know, so we'll just say three, that could be, uh, could be 900 to $1,200 a quarter. Now, I realize that's not all wasted. If you overlap with fertilizer, well, that's why I've just got extra fertilizer and you should get a return on that. But it is, takes away from your efficiency. When we buy the seed, we buy it one bag seeds 10 acres. So if you're gonna seed 160 acres, you buy 16 bags, but because you've overlapped three or four or five or six or whatever acres, by the end of it, you need another bag. A bag of canola seed, for instance, is basically averages about $550 a bag. So you can get, uh, it's how you wanna slice it on that one. If you think that, you know, extra tillage, for instance, is better, uh, you know, we're not a zero till farm. So if we're gonna overlap with our tillage machine, that's just extra tillage, but it's burning more fuel and taking more time. So back to that math on say three to four acres of field, that's uh, 900 to $1,200 a field. Well, if you have 10 fields, that's 9,000 to $12,000 on your farm. One of these GPS units probably, uh, you know, you could probably get one new for between 12 and 20 grand. So if you want to think of it that way, yeah, you maybe could basically buy yourself a, a GPS every year. Now they say, well, people say, well, you, well, you, but you need more than one GPS. Well, if they're integrated, I guess you do. I'm not exactly sure how that even works, like how you move them from thing to thing. But uh, our ones with external motors, we move them from our combine to our seeding tractor. And before we had our self-propelled sprayer, we moved it from the combine to the pull type sprayer. So they are movable. Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna do the work, they're not the easiest to move. Uh, I think they were advertised as, you know, move it in 10 minutes. But if you wanna run the wires and everything, then, uh, you know, it takes some time. We actually bought another, another set of antenna cables and stuff to just leave on the, on the machine so all we have to do is move the monitor and the globe but uh, I guess yeah for those three reasons I think that it's it's definitely a must-have for the efficiency operator fatigue and then the cost savings I don't see it as a uh, really as a luxury now if you're gonna get into uh, the yield mapping I'm not really sold on that yet uh, I, I know of people that do it up here and they claim it makes all the difference in the world uh, maybe it does maybe it doesn't we're not there yet on our farm like in order to in order to be able to utilize all that technology we'd have to do some pretty extensive upgrading and we're not too sure if there's point of upgrading older machinery or if just when we get the new machine it'll come with it and then at that point we'll adapt to it so that's my take on gps's i think that they are definitely a must have uh, i mean if you're only farming one or two fields or 10 or 20 acres maybe it's not but when you get into the thousands so we farm 2500 the most we've ever farmed in one year was about 3300 so between that 2500 and 3300 acre mark i think a few gps units is definitely a must-have and not a luxury that's probably gonna be all of the videoing i do today uh i all i did today was swap this quarter i got about three rounds left and then I'm going to head back to the yard, fuel up, grab the pickup, and then I got to come back and get this header because uh, my mom and dad are actually combining wheat right now and Corey's off with the kids. So as always, to those who watch, thank you very much. To all the new people that have uh, just joined in the last few days, thank you very much for that. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, and let me know in the comments if you think you know, if you're a farmer or not, it doesn't matter. Just let me know. Do you think having a GPS unit, which you know retails from twelve to twenty thousand dollars, is a luxury for the farmers, or do you think?